Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XI. It's time to try and click this tomb, as it, we have to wait until night time, but we are on 7pm, as you can see the sun is setting. So let's just see if we can get this cutscene. Yes we can. Rushfogner, what an interesting name. King Rampair, it is I, Rushfogner. Does your majesty not remember me? Oh, we're, just, we're just hidden behind this uh, tomb, by the way, now. Not just any old adventurer. Look no further than the bats for your proof of tomb robbing. Which if I remember means we have to kill some bats for an item at the orcish scales I think they're called. Let's see here. Oh we have to kill these first. Actually pretty tough. I'm hoping these will drop drop on the first first attempt. A handful of orcish skills, nice. That was it, and that's the item we need, I think. So, oh, look at these skeletons. Now, this thing here called Spook is a notorious monster. I don't think we're going to be able to kill it. No, we're not going to be able to do it. So, I might actually just kill myself and warp. Yeah, and now this skeleton's going to attack us. That's fine, we can quickly return. I'll just check. I don't think we lose any EXP. We've just hit level 9 though. See if I can kill a skeleton. And it is poison. And we're dead. Yeah, and I'm gonna return. We got the item we needed. I don't think we needed to click anything else, fingers crossed. That's what they call death warp. Well, that was the old terms that they used to use anyway back in my day. Okay, so we're back to the home point, which is going to be popping up in there in just a second. There it is. So, now I head to the... Oh, actually, we're right next to him. Head back to Endrasian. Oh, okay, I have to trade the uh, skill to him, of course. Trade. Orcus mill skills. Yeah. So you got this bat from the King Rampers tomb. You see, this actually belonged to an orc. What, what could orcs want, want with the tomb? At any rate, your mission is over. Speak not a word of this to another. Now, I don't know, but let's have a look here. Now you can see the top left hand side where it says rank one, uh, rank points. You can see we're halfway. 
think when that's full, then we can attend. Uh, we sorry, we can actually get the rank two mission. I think. Let's see if this works. Be handing some crystals. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Oh, hold well on then. Uh, did that even work? What I just did there? No, it didn't. Okay. Oh, okay, I cannot accept rank uh, crystals um, from anyone who's not ranked two. See what the next quest is. Save the children. I'm gonna accept this, but we may not do it just yet. Might be a bit too high level for us. Have you not heard? Orcs came and kidnapped some children. We think they're kid. Oh, sorry, we think they're keeping them in their lair in Gelspa. Gelspa. Gelshpa, I think it's pronounced. Not long ago came ill news from the cathedral. A boy training to be a friar went near Gelshpa and did not return. His name is Teddy Mount. The Royal, the Royal Knights would march to his rescue, but Prince Tryon is away in the north and could not give the order. You may visit the cathedral and ask what this boy looks like. You accept the mission. And yeah, we'll do that. Uh, wrong way. Yeah, this way. So we need to head to the cathedral. And I know for a fact when we zone out to this next area here, to the other side of Sandori, which is the, is it northern Sandori? Sandori? Uh, yeah, we're going to be going to the northern Sandori. We're going to get a cutscene <clears throat> about two people talking about something called colonization, which is a later expansion um, called the Seekers of Adeline. Well, you'll see that now anyway. Yeah, they're talking about the land to the west, which is Adeline. And they're talking about colonisation, but we're much too too low level to worry about that. Hmm, just wondering why on my map. On the radar, there's a red dot stood right where I'm where I am right now. Strange. Okay, so we have to head to the cathedral, it says. Yeah, yeah. You must visit the cathedral and ask what the boy looks like. <clears throat> Uh, now, is the cathedral in front of me? No, the cathedral's to my right. But what I will do is I'll click this home point because... If you click this home point, it means you can travel from home point to home point without having to worry about, you know, running there. So in future, if I want to get around, I can just travel by using the home point. That was a new thing that they added, um, you know, quite a few years ago now. There's another home point here, which I'll just... I'll make sure to get that as well. Click. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I've been registered at the home point. This thing here is something... I forgot what it's called now. Monstrosity, I think it's called. Never really did a lot of it, but it was something to do with turning into an enemy and levelling up, so sounds pretty cool, but... Again, we're much too low level to worry about that. I don't know who we talk to. That's the question here, so... 
I'm just hoping it'll um, trigger a cutscene. Yeah, yeah. Ah, now then. I might have activated another quest here. I don't know. No, no. I came here from the Temple Knights and you want to know about Teddy Mount. So he would often go into the woods of Ronfair for some tea and medicines. Shamonday. I hear that Ted Mount sometimes went into the forest to look for herbs. If it were true that Ted Mount did happen to be kidnapped by orcs, surely we could not simply let him die. <coughs> Who have you been talking with? Daryl is here, good old Des. Des is here on on errand from the night of the gatehouse. He asks about Teddy Mount. Infiltrate Gillespie and determine whether they hold this Teddy Mount captive. I've heard they keep prisoners in a small hut somewhere. Once you know, notify a Temple Knight and I'll go. So I think we're all sorted. I think we can just head that way now. Again, men on may not head there just yet, I feel like we're a bit low level. I mean, we struggled in King Rampair's tomb, so... Could try it, though. I'm trying to decide if I want to try it. I think I might. But I might have to fight my way there. Good bit of story going on, though. Once we get a bit more high level, we should be able to get into the interesting bits of the storyline. Or expansions anyway. Yeah, we'll head to the Gashbar Outpost. And we'll have a look and see how see how we do. We might have to be level 10 to do the quest. If that's the case, then we just need to get one level in. But remember, remember, I've still got my Emperor Band, which I've still not used yet. And I've got a re-raising gearing, sorry, a raising gearing if I need that as well. well I'll tell you what I might do though, now that I've got 300, 319 gil from um, books and pages and stuff. Can't remember if I got this home point crystal or not. No, I didn't get that one yet, so I've got it now. Um... I'm going to go to a shop nearby and see if I can get some better gear. I can't do that one. It doesn't have any of it either. I think this is an armour shop. Roselle's armour. Let's have a look in here. See what we can get here. Expensive. Okay, a bit more realistic here. We'll take the. Oh, well, we haven't really got much gil to spend at the moment. I'll sell copper ore, some rabbit hides, sell the grass thread. And I'll sell the flint stones. Still not much gill, it's only 400 gill, but... I don't think I've got anything else to sell at the moment, no. What I would like is a new weapon, really. Got a shield I can get there. The defense one. 
The one in yellow is what I can afford and um, how much defense it'll get. Um, and sorry, the one in yellow is the one I can afford and what I can wear. Okay, so let me see what I can get here. Defense 2 on our body at the moment. So what I might go with is the leather bandana. That'll be a new headpiece for us. That'll leave us, leave us with exactly no gill, but it gives us an extra 3 defense. Can see us wearing it. Yeah, looks so so. I had more gill, I'd be able to buy it. So I'm at exactly zero gill now. Which is good and not good. <laughs> Actually it's just just not good really. Uh, does it give me anything? Okay, it's just giving me something. It's giving me this Ibushi Shinai. Which is a sword, but it doesn't do good damage. But it's for the quest, but. I'll just chuck it to be fair. I might do. Um... Tell you what, we'll put it in our satchel. Which is kind of like our accessory, uh, our, like another pouch, if you like. This pouch, by the way, on top of this guy's head here, you, know, you can see that Killer Frost is their bazaar. We can see what they're selling, look. Obviously, we can't afford any of that stuff yet. So, we're going to head to the Galaxy Power Outpost now, which is just through West Ron Fair, I think. Yeah, West Ron Fair and to the right. Don't think we've got. Many conquest points to get anything just yet, have we? Let's have a look here. Could get... 1,982 conquest points. Might get a scroll of... Warp. And I might just get... Just in case, even though we've already got... A re-raise earring, I might just get the re-raise. And what's the other item we could have got? Uh, okay, I'll spend my conquest points. Let's have a look what else he's got. Return ring, homing ring, just rings. Oh, next page. Warp ring. Hmm. That's kind of cool, but we ain't got enough yet. What did this? He wanted us to go to the latter and yeah, we're gonna do that. I think we'll do we'll do that before we do this story. We'll head to the Latien, La, uh, the Latien Plateau, and I think we just have to maybe kill one enemy, maybe. If that's the case, we'll do that. Return, you know, we'll cast a warp or we'll use our warp scroll to come back to him and see what he gives us then. Just trying to debate whether it's a good idea that I run to the teleport crystal as well. But no, no, I think I maybe... Yes, I will actually. I will. I will return to the tele... I will... Sorry, run to the teleport crystal in Latien Plateau to enable me to do the next bit of the uh, quest from Alaunir. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a bit of a trek, a bit of a run. Got an easy prayer orc here we can kill. We'll take a few of these down, why not? We'll fight along the way, get some EXP. Try and get to level 10 if we can. XP. Okay, that that thing there to my right, it's called Amanita, I don't know if you can see it in the distance there. That is a notorious monster, that's what I killed earlier. And I got the 10x strap of it, and I, I tried selling it for 5,000 gil. I haven't checked my auction house to see if it's sold yet, but I will try to kill it in just a second to see if we can get another 10x strap and sell that for 5,000 gil as well. 
so we can potentially buy some better stuff off the market or the auction house buy some better gear and stuff yeah easy prey should be able to kill this what I'm gonna do is kill this forest hare to get enough TP to be able to go to Amid Am Amid Amid Aminita is it and kill it basically with my weapon skill Our next weapon skill, I'm not sure what level it is. There we go, I'm an eater. Okay, here it goes. I don't know why I'm attacking it from behind, it's not going to do anything. Yeah. 58 points of damage, nice. Evasion 0.1. Again, uh, 0.2, nice. 0.1, <clears throat> 0.1, Get some good skill ups off it. Come on. There we go, we got some, we got 120, yeah, another 10 extra. So I can probably sell that for some good EXP. I could have put my EXP band on, my experience band, my uh, emperor band, which will give me a, an EXP increase. Uh, come on. Okay, because of the angle of the cliff, it's uh, mixing, it's out of range, but let's try it. Pepper book. There we go. Has it worked? Yes, it's worked. Boom! We've got good sword skill and parry skill then. These are just really quick and easy kills at the moment. Oh, this is too weak. Could do with anything. Could do with a new sword or something, but... Again, I've just got literally zero gil on me at the moment. Oh, five gil on me, actually. Because we killed an orc. They dropped gil. But only a little bit of gil. It's not worth farming them for gil. Not really, anyway. Your best bet is to do uh, pages. As we were doing at the beginning of the, our adventure. So we'll continue south. Okay, we've got some sheep here. Yep, easy prayer. An orcish mesmerizer. We'll kill the mesmerizer. Now this is a mage, the orcish mesmerizer. Shouldn't pose us too much of a threat though. We've got an orcish thodder that's gonna come and join the party, I think, in a second. There we go. This orcish fodder must be... Yeah, easy prayer. Now we're uh, nearly halfway to the next level. Got 14 gil from that orc. So we're up to a whopping 24 gil now. Forest hair, easy prayer. Sheep are really good to level off at this stage, but they can put you to sleep and they also can berserk, which increases defense. Sorry, increases their attack but weakens their defense, but they can hit rather hard. So when I get to the outpost, which is just around the corner from here, I'm going to click the field manual again and put region on again. There's the Orcish Grappler. That'll drop us a bit more gill. Boom, dead. Could do with a potion now from these chests. 
Ah, oh, look at that. Potion plus one. Let's use it. And Mighty Strikes is now available in three, two, one. Boom. It's available now. So we have to wait one hour since they're using it. Orcish, uh, sorry, Orcish Beetle. Uh, Scarab Beetle. These are pretty tough, so these are quite good to level off. Parry going to 19 now. So as you can see now, on the combat skill, on the top left hand side, you can see that our sword is at level 28, and it's blue, and the version is at blue at 27. When it's blue, it means it's capped and can't get any high until you level up again. So capped on our sword skill and evasion skill, which is which is good. <clears throat> I still can't decide if I want to be, a, you know, 100% be a Dark Knight, but that's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I really did enjoy leveling Dark Knight. Spoil, give me strength down. Okay. It's a tough fight this one. I have got TP, but I'd rather save it for a really hard enemy. Okay, so we're now at 920 to next level. Now, my strength down, I just have to wait for it to fall off, so to speak, or wear off. I'm going to just head to the outpost, I think, and grab a page of anything. Yeah, we're at 33 gil. I'm really not concerned about gil at the moment because um, you know you do you do need gil for quite a few things in this game, well, obviously. So not too overly bothered though. This gil is something you'll pick up over time. Okay, the outpost is just there. Look. I was about to say, there doesn't seem to be enemies nearby. Could kill the worm, I've still got strength down. See here, strength is reduced, the effect diminishes over time. Okay, here's the manual. Cool. It's wore off now. Field manual, and I'm going to... Cancel the current regime because that was in King Rampire's King Rampire's tomb, and I'm going to take field support of region. Which oh no, I can't actually. I haven't got enough tabs yet. So let's see what we can get here. Six wild sheep and one goblin, level four to level eight. It's not the best um, page or book, but at least we'll know that we'll be able to do it. So we need a, so we need six sheep, one goblin. Now let's have a look. Trying to find a sheep now. There's a goblin. Seems to have low defense. There's the goblin done. Now we just need six sheep. Now the sheep are not that easy. We'll try and kill one. Oh, a decent challenge that one. What's that one over there in the distance? Uh, yeah. Um, we'll kill. Try and kill this wild sheep. And let's go with the Emperor Band as well. We're going to use our instant re raise scroll that I got from the uh, Conquest guy. Wait, let me use it. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to be struggling here, I think.
Use some food to boost my attack. It's a bit better, we're hitting a bit harder. We might be able to kill it once we get the TP, but we need, we're going to need to make sure we hit it first. Now the reason why we're missing so much is because the higher the enemy is, higher level or the higher check rate on it, is the more we're going to miss it. And that goes with the enemies as well, so the higher we are, the lower the level of the enemy is, the more options, sorry, the more often that they're going to miss us. So it works two ways really. So you, all, you always try to level up on enemies that are uh, a, a fair level to you. I'm going to have to rest after this fight. Ooh, he just hit me there with charge. Did 8 damage to me. Got some good EXP. They've got 240 EXP for that. So I'm just going to rest. You can rest by clicking forward slash heal. Or just clicking the L3 analog stick to rest. Resting is probably the most boring bit of the game. Because you just have to watch your bottom right and your health to tick up. Later on when you go into parties and people can heal you and stuff like that, but for this time being while we do solo, we we'll have to wait for it to tick up manually, I'm afraid. And I think I'm actually going to end the video there and see if I can kill these sheep off screen so you guys have to see me grinding this sheep. And in the next one after that, we shall head down to the Latien Plateau. We should be level 10 easily by then. In fact, we will be level 10 by then. But I might try and, try and stay here till like level 10, level 11 or something. And then maybe head to the Latin Plateau. Plateau. So until the next one guys, thank you for watching. I've been Neon Genesis. This has been Daryl. See you in the next video.